everyone, it's Terry from Terry Scrapbooks, and this is my design team project for Enable Ks for December. It's a Christmas layout and process video. I use Blue Fern Studios vintage Christmas papers and lots of Renee Bouquet's embellishments, beautiful board, and Holly, one of her new printed beautiful board chipboard pieces. I'm starting with Blue Fern Studios Vintage Christmas 2 Holiday Treats paper and a piece of lightweight cardboard insert that I have saved. I'm gluing them together to add some strength to the blue fern paper. I painted some clear gesso in two coats over the top, drying each coat between applications. I have some white gesso. I'm applying it with a piece of sponge that I cut up. Just patting it around to give a little bit of a frosty look. The snowflake paste has some glittery sparkle in it. Sparkle doesn't show up here in the video very well. I'm applying it with a palette knife, patting for some snowy texture. I've cut some pieces of paper from the paper collection to map the photo on. I've also cut some red cardstock to mat the papers onto for a nice red border. Some scrap pieces of chipboard to pop up the layers. I saw this little lacy piece and I fussy cut it out. I think it's pretty. Getting out my craft mat and Renee K's brand new beautiful board vintage Christmas ornaments and beautiful board decorative scroll Christmas flourish. Some gold acrylic craft paint. I just want a little gold in random spots. Now for some embossing. I'm using Wow Spring Breeze Embossing Glitter. Renee Bouquet's carries this Emboss It Dauber from Ranger. It's perfect for the look I want. I just want random coverage, so I just daub it on in spots. I decided to do two pieces at a time. Fabulously glittery Renee Bouquet's trim, wide gold embroidered lace.
some more gold sparkle from Renee Bouquet's Trim Elegance Ivory and Gold Lace. Gorgeous mulberry poinsettias from Renee Bouquet's. I have some plain poinsettias with no centers and a couple of white clay poinsettias in my stash. There she is. Renee's printed beautiful board large Christmas holly chipboard die cut. I'm stacking up some scrap chipboard to pop holly up. I've gotten this fussy cut piece from Blue Fern Studios Vintage Christmas Paper Collection, the first collection. It's a leftover from the 3D Sugar Plum Fairy I decorated a few weeks ago. These little candy embellishments come from Michael's Arts and Crafts store. I'm gluing them on with some glossy accents. red ribbon using my bow at all. I'm adding some of Renee Bouquet's gold glass microbeads as flower centers put a little glossy accents down and now I'm just sprinkling the microbeads on top. have links in the description to Renee Bouquet stores and a list of the items I used on this project that you can buy there. Thanks so much for watching my video.